Hi, I'm Will Eubank, director of The Signal, and you are watching Pretentious Film Majors on sciencefiction.com. Hey, I'm Ben Silverio, and we're here inside my car out front of the Eastern State Penitentiary because it's raining. But we're here to interview Will Eubank, the director and co-writer of The Signal. Let's head inside to see what he has to say. Well, Will, thanks a lot for taking some time out to talk to us. Yeah, of course. This is exciting. So my first question is, how did you come up with the concept of The Signal? Are we just, we're ignoring where we are. We're just pretending like we are. Just, I mean. We're just randomly <laughs> sitting somewhere in a crazy room. <laughs> like we're in Eastern State Penitentiary. We are. Um, I just felt like I needed to say that because this is totally crazy. And yes. it's raining and dripping everywhere. Um, anyways, okay. <laughs> the Signal. Um, uh, it basically sort of stemmed um, from a concept that uh, usually most of the stuff that I want to do uh, usually has to do with like one particular character and, and I'm usually trying to find the world to fit that character into. Um, in this case, it was sort of a mix between um, just sort of a high concept idea that I had, but uh, I'd also been interested in sort of trying to invent um, this sort of almost like tell an a strange like origin story mm -hmm. to a certain degree um i almost wanted like to for people to leave at the end of this story and be like was that was that yeah was that the birth of something or what was i seeing there so mm -hmm. um even though it's indie i thought it'd be fun to try to do something like that so cool were there any seminal pieces of sci-fi that you looked to for inspiration while you're creating the story um i grew up a big fan of uh of Twilight Zone um, and Outer Limits and, and sort of those short, like mind bendery type uh, programs. Um, big fan of Kubrick, obviously. Um, big fan of uh, Malick. Um, all the usual culprits, I guess I want to say. Um, but I, but I'm a fan of a lot of different things, and I think that that's why the film sort of bends genres a little bit here mm -hmm. and there. Um, yeah, yeah. Cool. So uh, Lawrence Fishburne has become a staple of sci-fi, kind of. How did he come aboard the project, and how did it feel when you found out that you had got him? Um, yeah, that was intense. That was a really cool moment. Uh, like, you know, when a uh, sort of an, a science fiction icon like that will call you and be like, hey, man, I read your story, and I don't know who you are, but this, is, this got me from beginning, middle, and end. He was... Um, sort of drawn into it um, that that's like it means like a couple things one it means hopefully you're about to get Lawrence Fishburne to do your movie and two um, it means that maybe you're writing something that is really that is you know that is interesting that is sort of like because when you when you do something like this you're always worried like oh gosh what if nobody wants to do it or what if I can't find the right people and when um, yeah when you get a call from Lawrence Fishburne saying he's into it you're stoked <laughs> So as I was watching the movie, I noticed that Haley was the only one who didn't use her powers. I was wondering, was there a cut of the film where she was using it, or are you saving that for a potential sequel? You know, uh, there was a. I knew in the end I wasn't going to get a chance to show what her superpower is per se, or what her ability is. Um, hopefully, that's not spoiling too much. But um, I made a conscious decision to still put it in so that there would hopefully be a day where I could show that. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't going to fit in the box of this movie. That was sort of like, you know, what we ended up having to work with. But um, but I knew I wanted to at least sow the seed in case I got a chance, either through a DVD extra or through um, maybe someday a sequel. Who knows? <laughs> I guess that depends. But. Um, uh, yeah, I, d I knew people would question that, but it was still a fun way to kind of like possibly continue something on later. Do you think you might pull a gravity later and make a short for the DVD or something? Yeah, that's a g you know, it's not a bad idea. So we'll have to see kind of how people respond and whatnot. So. Right. The big ideas teaches you to do. This is uh, <laughs> this is this is my special signal hat for this 